Okay, so this is like an induction question. So basically, um, what we need to do first of all, we're going to prove for n equals 1. So that's like, that means that x1 has to equal 2, 1 plus alpha to the 1 over 1 minus alpha to the 1. So we look up the top two, x1 is equal to 1. So alpha is actually equal to minus a third. So it's 2 times 1 minus a third over 1 minus minus a third. So it's going to be 2 times 2 thirds over 1 and 1 third, which is 4 thirds. So it's 2 times 2 thirds times 3 on 4, which is equal to 1, because it all cancels out. Okay, so now we're going to assume for n equals k. So what we're going to do is we're assuming that that equals 2, 1 plus alpha to the k over 1 minus alpha to the k. And we are going to prove for n equals k plus 1. So we're required to prove that x to the k plus 1 equals 2, 1 plus alpha to the k plus 1 and 1 minus alpha to the k plus 1. Okay. So um, we're going to have to use that original statement up there. So if we look at the left-hand side, the x to the k plus 1, um, it equals x to the um, k plus 1. If you use this original statement here and sub it in, that would equal 4 plus x to the k over 1 plus x to the k. Okay, now x to the k you can see is equal to, we do it from our assumption, is equal to that. So what we need to do is check that in. So it's 4 plus x to the k, which is um, 2 times 1 plus alpha to the k over 1 minus alpha to the k. I'll just split it with its denominator because it'll make it a bit easier for me. And not 4, but 1, isn't it? So it's going to be 1, this part here. So it's going to be 1 plus, now alpha to the k is 2, 1 plus alpha to the k, that k should be in there, k over 1 minus alpha to the k. So if I times top and bottom by um, 1 minus alpha to the k on the top and the bottom, then I'm going to get um, 4 times 1 minus alpha to the k plus 2 times 1 plus alpha to the k and that's all going to be over nothing because that's going to cancel out. Okay, and this one's going to be 1 minus alpha to the k plus 2 times 1 plus alpha to the k. So if we collect like terms here, we have 4 minus 4 alpha k plus 2 plus 2 alpha k all over 1 minus alpha k plus 2 plus 2 alpha k. So that's going to be 6 minus 2 alpha to the k over 1 plus 2 is 3 plus alpha to the k. Okay, so why is that actually equal to this here, on which on the right-hand side? So what we need to do is we need to put in alpha equals minus 1 third. Because I think if you find that and you did it on both of them, you'd probably get the same thing. So with this one here, um, let's keep it going. So that's going to be 6 minus 2 times minus 1 third to the k over 3 plus minus 1 third to the k. So if I times by 3 to the k on both sides, that would be 6 times 3 to the k minus 2 times minus 1 to the k. Yep, because the bottom will cancel out. Over... 3 times 3 to the k my plus minus 1 to the k. Okay, so if I look at uh, this here up the top and look at what I'm trying to get. So the right hand side equals 2 1 plus alpha to the k plus 1 over 1 minus alpha to the k plus 1. So that's going to be 2 1 plus now it's minus one third to the k plus one over one minus minus one third to the k plus one. Okay, so that's going to be two plus two times minus one to the k plus one um, over three to the k plus one. 
over 1 minus minus 1 to the k plus 1 over 3 to the k plus 1. So if I times the top and bottom by 3 to the k plus 1, I end up with 2 times 3 to the k plus 1 plus 2 times minus 1 to the k plus 1 all over 3 to the k plus 1 minus minus 1 to the k plus 1. Okay, so let's have a look at what we're trying to make these two things here equal. So if I split the k plus 1 here, because I can see if I make that, that would be 3 minus 2 minus 1 to the k times 2 to the 1, all over, all over 3 to the k times 3 minus minus 1 to the k times minus 1 to the 1. Okay, so that's going to be 6 times 3 to the k. Okay, I can see my little mistake here. When I split this up, that should be minus 1. So it's minus 1 to the 1. Okay, so that's going to be 6 times that, minus 2. And the minus 1 will make that a plus. Is that right? All right, it was a plus to start with. Sorry, it was a plus to start with. I just didn't carry through as a plus. So that's, that's that sign, stays the same. Okay, so if you multiply that by minus 1, that'll be minus 2 to the k. And on the bottom, it's 3 times 3 to the k. Minus 1 times minus 1 will give you plus minus 1 to the k. And that is the same as the right-hand side. So therefore, left-hand side equals right-hand side. And by the process um, of mathematical induction, it's true for...